Well, the brother's back. I'm going to tell you some more things that went on in Harlem. I'll tell you some things that went on in the Apollo Theater that blows people's mind when I tell them about this. Now, this is a, an organization called the Jewel Box Review. And it was sponsored by a guy named Danny Brown and Doc Benner. Now, this, my friends, is an official program from them. And it's got pictures of them performing, what they look like in real life. Now, what was the Jewel Box Review? They came to the Apollo Theater about three times a year, about every third of a year. They were there. Big show, big show. What this is about, this is about 25 guys in drag. They performed, they sang, they danced, they, they told jokes, and they traveled the world as that. So it was 25 guys dressed in drag, and believe it or not, they had one woman who was a lesbian. We called her a dyke back then, or butch. She was the MC, and she looked like a man. So you got 25 guys looking like women, and you got one woman looking like a man. But let me tell you, what they did was, like I say, they sang, and they danced, and some of them, it blow you away when you think about, these are guys. But you talk about talent, you're talking about singing and dancing and playing music and, and at times they did a thing like the can-can. These are all guys. That's what they are. They're all guys in this. And they would perform around the country. Now, they did a lot in New York. We we'll give some of the, the places that they played. Mm -hmm. Now, outside of the Apollo Theater, see, there's the Apollo Theater right there, the Jewel Box Review. Okay, they played in Brooklyn. They played downtown Manhattan at the Lowe's. They played the Detroit Fox. They played at a country club in Brooklyn. They bought their review. They bring the whole thing. They played in California. Let's see, upstate New York. They played in Coney Island. Yeah, they played all over. And they too had a circuit that they ran on. Because like I said, they came to the Apollo three times a year. So if you take three times a year here, and three times a year there. And they some, some of the places, it said, they played there for months. The show was in such high demand that they played there. And I'm going to show you a picture of Stormy. Stormy was the woman who was the MC. That's the MC, which was Stormy. This is a woman. I mean, now, let me give you kind of a close-up of what some of these women look like in their full costumes. And you tell me that that doesn't look like a woman. Well, here's one right here. That's a, that's a guy. I'm trying to get full body shots so you can get a, a look at... Okay. These are guys. They sang. 
they danced, they did little skits, they did a chorus line. If you who are unfamiliar with a chorus line, that's like when they all in the line and they all do the like the Rockettes. Okay. Now, with that said, this is a layout. This is a layout of the majority of them right there. That's a layout. The Jewel Box Review. Now, when I said they played all over, I just showed you a few places. Here is a spreadsheet of all the places that they played. So it wasn't, like I say, it wasn't just Harlem. Okay? And like I say, they've got four weeks engagement, eight weeks engagement, two weeks engagement, three weeks. Here's one that's got uh, 18 week engagement at the Monticello Playhouse, Monticello, New York. So that, they gotta be popular for you to stay at a place like that. But it's called the Jewel Box Review. It's still in existence, but I haven't really done any research on it because whatever they're doing now, that's them. But this is what I experienced back then when they came to the Apollo every year like clockwork. They'd be right on top of it. And I've seen them in person. We didn't make any of the costumes because they wore that can-can and whatnot. But they would bring it in there periodically for us to fix it. And I've been in the Apollo to see their act because I wanted to see how good they were. Right? I wanted to see how good they were. And you talk about talented people. They had one lady, this is why I got a picture of her, who was a comedian. And for, for those of you who remember Mom's Mabley, she told the same type of jokes as Mom's Mabley. And she had that kind of rough appearance about her. But she was a comedian. And she told all the jokes. But usually you get somebody like that, like in between, they'll send a comedian out there to kind of hold the audience while they get ready for the next act. Stormy was the MC. She was the guy, she was the girl who looked like a guy. And Ray Francis, that's who that was. It's a small shot, but that's Ray Francis right there. Now, like I say, she was like a mom's Mabley. And for you guys who are old enough to remember mom's Mabley, if you listen to her, she was a funny woman. She was a woman, but she was real funny. And if you had never heard mom's Mabley, the beauty of the internet nowadays in cyberspace, well, guess what? You can look her up. Now here's one. Ricky Renee. Now that's the girl shot of her. And here is Mr. Ricky Renee over here. But if you saw him in the streets, you'd never know. But see, back then, they called it in drag. They still call it in drag, where guys dress up like women. So, the Jewel Box Review. Think about that. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up and see, do they still perform? But they did back then. And this book is dated into the 50s. What can I say? Brother from Harlem, throwing you guys information that you might know or you might not. But this was real, this was Harlem in those days at the Apollo Theater. So I'll be back with you with something else there. You know I always got something for you. But I want you guys to understand this real stuff that went on in Harlem. So be blessed.